Hello, welcome to the next video of the Holy Bible. Let's see if I can find out where I am. Um, I was thinking on the way here, uh, very few Christians have actually read the whole Bible. <laughs> My guess is it's below 5% that all Christians in the United States of America have read the entire thing. Let's see, um, the first book of Moses called Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, new paragraph. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, really. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Man, that is some worldview. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day the Bible was meant to be added to. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. <laughs> in science, uh, there's a moving creature that came from the sea from which all animal life on earth and whales came from and God created great whales and every living creature that moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every winged fowl after his kind and God saw that it was good really and God blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let fowl multiply in the earth meaning birds and the evening and the morning were the fifth day, new paragraph, verse 24. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle, and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. Well, the cattle would be domesticated animals. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind meaning insects and God saw that it was good and God said let us make man in our image in our image that's a new one <laughs> after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the earth and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth Moses, Moses is some writer. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. I thought I read it twice, but... I don't know. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. People get hungry. They need Kentucky Fried Chicken. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth. Okay, we get it. Wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. Moses was probably smoking some cannabis. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day 
Okay. So, Genesis chapter 1 takes you to the sixth day of creation. Great. Okay, that's the end of chapter 1. It's tedious reading. Lots of repetition.